Hey, this is Chris from Sinti Studios. Today we're going to take a look at this door in the Polygon Fantasy Kingdom pack. As you can see here, it's one solid mesh, and we'll be taking that into Blender. And I'll be showing you how to separate some of the meshes just to make it more versatile for your needs. So to get started with that, if we select our model, and we'll show an explorer, and if we copy out the location, so in Blender, if we go File, Import, FBX, and then we've pasted in our directory for the models. And then if we head back into Unity, we'll grab the model name. You can paste this in the search, click that and import. Now if we view the viewport shading, you can see we don't have a material. So if we go to shading, click on our model. Using the middle mouse button, you can move around. Click the open icon. Now same as before, we can use the models folder here. So if we paste this in, and then if we go up a directory, and we can go into textures. And we'll just apply the basic texture. Now back into modeling, onto viewport shading again. So what we're going to achieve here is to separate the door knocker from one side of the door and then reset the pivot point just to make it usable. So to do that, we'll click on the model and we'll hit tab to go to edit mode. So we essentially want to select all of the faces that we want to separate. So to do this, the easiest way will be in face select mode and select the first face on one side. And holding control, then automatically select all of the faces in the quickest path around. And to start the next ring, if we hold shift. And the same again for the next ring. So when it comes to separating, just hitting P on your keyboard and then by selection. And then if we turn off that new one, you can see we haven't missed any faces. If you have, you can just hit Control Z on your keyboard to backtrack through, select those faces and then separate again. All right, so now we'll hide our door. And this one here, rename that to Door Knocker. And we'll click the model and we'll hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. We want the pivot point to be sort of roughly in the middle here. So to do that, We'll click one vertice on one side and holding shift, select the other vertice, then control S, cursor to selected. You can see that's roughly where we want it to be. And back into object mode, and object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And then if we rotate by the X axis, you can see that's basically the effect that we want. So we'll bring our door back in. So when it comes to then parenting the door knocker to the door, the main mesh that we select will then become the parent. So to do that, we select our door knocker, Alt Shift, select the door, and then Control P, set parent to object. Now if we open this up, you can see here we have the door knocker as a child of our door. And again, if we hit R for rotate and hold in X just to constrain it to the X axis, you can see it rotates exactly how we want it to. We'll just rename the door because we'll import it as a separate model. And if we go File, Export, FBX, and we'll give it an O2 name to match what we've called it up here. And we'll export, jump into Unity, have a look at what we've imported. If we drag it into the scene. And in Unity, we'll just make sure the materials match for our model. And then as you can see, one side of our door has the door knocker with the pivot point set exactly how we want it. Hope you found the tutorial useful. If there is anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our new videos, or check out our community Discord, the link is in the description.